Hi everyone, and welcome to a, um, well, a little bit different uh, video here. Uh, I haven't been doing a lot of pre-made videos. Um, I've been pretty much getting back to the, the whole streaming thing, and, and say, but uh, this one isn't so much a stream as something I've been working on uh, pretty much all night and a bunch of today, and finally figured out how to do this. So. As a lot of you guys know, I have my home realm here, the Sony Summit Combine. doesn't allow for, um, you know, cheats, commands, or anything else. So I don't really play around with this too much. But I got it in my head last night. There's got to be a way to make a... Uh, so you kill the dragon. If you know, if you watch uh, Hermitcraft, the Hermitcraft series, they have it set. So you kill the dragon, it drops an elytra. And that's it. Um, which is really cool, especially on really large realms. Uh, where it's kind of hard to get elytras after a while because uh, you have to go further and further and further and further away and to the point where it's it's almost impossible to, to find stuff. Uh, so I'm like, oh, well, th this should be simple, right? You think that. <laughs> um, here, let me go to here. So um, so this is how they do it. It's, it's one simple command. It's a really long command. Uh, basically, it just says, hey... Um, if it, because you can you can change loot tables, but on realms and on certain servers and stuff, you don't necessarily have access to the, the loot tables. So uh, this supposedly is a command that will allow you to automatically get a elytra if the dragon dies. It, it it adds the elytra to its drop table. There's a problem with that. This doesn't work in Bedrock Edition, the Better Together update. It just it doesn't work. The if if you try to run it. Um, we don't have all the commands, so as you see here, the unknown command, entity data, please check, blah, blah, blah. So entity data doesn't exist for, uh, for Bedrock Edition. Uh, so you can't actually change the way that works. So this thing, not so much. So I had to figure out a way to get it. So you, if you kill the dragon, you can actually get an elytra. Uh, and there, there are a couple problems with this. So the first problem is, uh, or rather, the, the first thing is you can test test for any entity. So here's test for entity type is Ender Dragon, uh, and this is always running, so it's set to repeat, unconditional, always active. So as long as this is in an area that is a chunk that is loaded, this command here will work. Now uh, the issue is. That that, that's all it does. You, you can't test if the dragon's gone. You can only test if the dragon's there. Uh, there's no not commands, at least as far as I can tell uh, at, at this time of recording, um, to do a not feature. Uh, you only get positive results. So for instance, I could say, hey, if you sense a dragon, give me an elytra. And here's where the two problems come in. So the first problem is a lot of this stuff that you can do and figure out are constant. So, for instance, let me let me let me, uh, and I've labeled everything here to make things a little easier. So I, I made these two little commands here. So this one allows me to summon the dragon up above, uh, and this one allows me to kill the dragon. Uh, so right there, you can see both of those commands, which makes it really easy to test because I kept going all the way up. Because well, if the dragon hits these, um, it, it it'll it'll kill it uh, and destroy everything. Uh, so you might not want to put these directly underneath. Uh, in in the end here, uh, you might want to set up a ticking zone at spawn. Um, but you know what? As as long as players or entities aren't down this far, uh, the dragon should never come down here. I mean, I'm at I'm at uh, uh, what zero? No, this so this is fifteen. This is fourteen. So I mean, I'm fairly low down at this point. Um, but anyway, so so I hit this button here, and as you see. Dragon's there. You can hear it in the background. You see the, the bar up there. But if you notice, that keeps going. So it's constantly saying, hey, there's a dragon. If you have it set so if you sense a dragon, you get an elytra, you now have flooded the realm. See, there is a whole bunch of stuff that we'll get into in a moment. So as you see, it just flies by. It just keeps going, going. So you can't make it so you uh, the dragon spawns, you get an elytra because... It just doesn't work. Um, the second problem is I can kill the dragon and stop this from working, but that stops this chain from working too. So anything past here is going to, to stop. So 
I had to get a little inventive. So just to show you how this all works. So we, the dragon's up there. You notice I, I don't have any elytras uh, in my inventory whatsoever. And as you see here, there's nothing in here that says anything about giving me an elytra. So I'm just going to kill the elytra. Or, or kill, the, uh, kill the dragon. Um, and it takes a little while, which we'll get into why in a moment. But the dragon's dead. And all of a sudden... You've received an elytra! Ta-da! And if you notice, I now have one, one, very important, one elytra. So how in the world did I do this? Well, it was a little bit of a pain. Um, the, the way this works is, so uh, the, these, these you don't need, that you definitely don't need. Um, everything you see here, minus, minus these three redstone uh, blocks, is what you need. So... You're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 command blocks. You're going to need two repeaters. You're going to need a comparator. You're going to need, um, well, two hoppers. And you don't actually need the redstone. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, you also need 46 iron blocks. And believe it or not, that actually, that, that that matters. Uh, the the amount in there actually does matter. So here, let me let me get rid of that. Bye bye. Uh, that that's why that's there. It's it's the garbage garbage chute. There we go. Um. So the first things first. How how do you get these uh, command blocks? So to, to get a command block, you say give. Uh, you can do at s or at p. It doesn't really matter. Put in your actual name. Um. So you say ah, come on. So you go slash give at Myself, I'm the closest player. Uh, I'm using at p just because uh, we're going to be using that later on. Uh, at p uh, command, and as you see it there, you can command block, command block, minecart, chain. Uh, you, all these you can change. Um, you can't do a command minecart one, but we're not dealing with that. So uh, just give yourself a command block, and and as you see now, I have a command block there. Um, okay, so let's 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 start with this here. So we have chest for dragon. You have slash test for at entity, you know, colon, just like this. I'll, I'll put most of the stuff here in the, uh, the description to make life a little easier. You don't need to put this uh, over here where it says, well, you can't see my mouse, can you? <laughs> um, yeah, you don't need the test dragon part. Uh, that's just the name. So when it's up there, it, it's easier for us to determine which is which. You do, however, need that to be on repeat, that to be unconditional, and that to be always active. So this will always be running. Now, if you notice... Like before, when we had this, you know, we had tons and tons of stuff here. Test dragon found, blah blah blah. That's because this is only going to put stuff into the chat if it's actually successful. It's actually doing stuff. Um, as you see right now, no targets matched selector is showing up there, uh, and we'll get to the point where we actually get rid of that because you don't want that flooding your um, your chat. Uh, but we'll we'll get to that at the end. Uh, the next is we're going to want a chain uh, a chain type. Conditional, always active, at set block. Uh, these numbers here are going to vary depending on where you're actually putting stuff. Uh, but you want redstone block. So what this command here does is it goes over here to this little guy. And this block right here, right on top of this hopper, instead of the redstone block being here, it'll create one right on top, which will allow, well, well it'll, it'll lock this. So that means anything that flows into here will actually stay there, uh, which will be very useful here in a moment. The second one here, remove redstone. So this one here, as you see, it's the same uh, thing, set block, except now it says air, uh, and it's also one block off. So what this is, this one here is going to do is it's going to remove this redstone block, allowing these 46 items to flow over to this hopper. Now, when that happens, this comparator here will start seeing the new items, and when it gets all the way full, so all 46 flow in here, it'll activate this and start this. So the first thing we're going to need to do, uh, and the reason is there were a lot of different examples I saw where it was doing this immediately show up, disappear, back and forth, and the problem is the ticking doesn't work the same way in uh, Java uh, as it does in, in Bedrock. Uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't just do that. I had to make a, a, a slower delay process in order for it to be recognized properly. So this goes here. This first thing we do is remove all but one block of iron from here. And 
that means this signal now you know, goes back to almost nothing. We then add 45 blocks, because remember, we're, we have 46, so we have, we're going to have four, adding 45 here and making this one. Uh, so as you see, they're going to go back and forth. Uh, this here, so any, any of these green blocks, by the way, uh, I'm not sure how familiar some people are, though. If you're probably looking for this, you probably have at least the basics <laughs> on the command blocks. Um, but the, these purple ones are repeat blocks. That means they're always running depending on their, their uh, uh, conditions and everything else. Uh, these green ones are chain blocks. That means they go blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then these are ones that only are active. These are the standard ones, the impulse. Uh, and these orange ones will only activate uh, if uh, they are powered or whatever it may be. But more importantly, they only happen once. They only, they only run once. So again, this is going to do that. It's going to add the iron. It's going to remove the redstone. And then we're going to add redstone. So this one here is adding back this red block, this redstone block right here, which will block this. Now you may think, well, that's going to break the system, right? I mean, it's, it, 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 nothing's going to be able to flow. But remember, this block here only runs once. This block here is removing that redstone pretty constant. As long as this senses that there's a dragon, that there is going to remove any redstone block here with an air block. So this will only add it once, that'll add it constantly. So this basically then is going to create a whole cycle. So if we summon the dragon, you notice that block disappeared. It added the redstone there, and we can see blocks are flowing in here. Uh, and again, you don't you don't need these redstone thing, it's just easier to see than this. Um, this is going to power that as soon as it gets full. There it goes. See, it, there was a command that went all the way up there, but we never saw it because it went so fast. It tick, there's four ticks in a second, so um, we never see that redstone block. But more importantly, this block, this hopper is basically always powered, so this, there's always going to be stuff here. And now, as you see, this here also is powering this. So we're pushing redstone signal in here causing this to be a powered block. And then this, uh, I have it on four tick delay. I don't think it really matters, but I, I just like having it on four tick. This is going to power this. So this is going to test for redstone. So what this is going to look for is, hey, this, this redstone block here, is there a redstone block here? If the answer is no, nothing happens. Because remember, output only happens if you're successful. So as long as this is removing that redstone, this block here is always going to tell you, nope, can't do it. There, there's, there's nothing there. As soon as we, however, kill the dragon, this, this block here is no longer removing that redstone and it'll stay there. So that will then power these two. It'll give the, an elytra to the closest player, and you can you know, do all entities or anything else like that. And then that title we see there is powered by this. Title, at player, title you received in elytra. So that way, uh, only the person that sees that they got an elytra actually get that message, and you can make that message, you know, anything you like. You can do titles, you can do uh, subtitles, and everything else. So as you see, we have all that. Now, that's all that's all wonderful and, and good and such, but that's a lot of garbage in our chat window. Um, well, luckily there's a game rule that, that fixes that. So you can do game rule. You see game rule right there. And there's all the different game rules you can do. And the one that we want is the, uh, where is it? it is, oh, it's the very top. Command, oops, command block output, and we want to make that not false. <laughs> false, there we go. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is all these command blocks, we're no longer going to see any of their, any of the stuff, not, nothing. So if we hit the summer dragon, we see nothing in chat, so we can say hi. How are you doing, dragon? And we have that unfortunate Windows lag bug. Um, but as you see, we're, we're not seeing all that stuff that was happening before. Not, nothing showing up in, in chat, nothing's showing up at all. Uh, if we hit kill dragon again, we're still not seeing anything. Oh, I should probably get rid of that elytra. Um, and as soon as this gets fully powered, so as I said, there's a slight delay there, we've received an elytra. 
So hopefully that is going to help a lot of people. Um, we, we, I, I kept looking and I couldn't find anyone that had this sort of setup. So hopefully this is useful um, for someone out there besides me just playing around as a mental exercise. Um, you do, again, need to put this at a location that is either um, directly underneath uh, the, the dragon area, so that way it is powered, it is checking, it is doing stuff, uh, or you need to set a ticking area someplace else. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be able to run. Or do anything else. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys found this useful, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe now that I'm playing around with command blocks a little bit more, I'll, I'll do more of these, but... Uh, for now, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you are interested in my home realm, it is right down below on the 77.com. Uh, uh, our public Discord link is right over there as well. But this has been Redstone Fun with Tazel, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.